Every year, Diwali leaves Delhi gasping for air. Air quality of the Indian capital of New Delhi and its adjoining areas called the NCR or National Capital Region worsened after the Diwali celebrations. A lot of firecrackers that were burst in the National Capital area specifically and therefore that has resulted part of grey sky and thick smog. The morning after, the city is choked by a thick toxic smog with the air quality index routinely skyrocketing past the 500 mark, 10 times the safe limit. To solve this, the Supreme Court has stepped in with what seems like a perfect compromise. Ban all old polluting firecrackers, but allow the sale of new scientifically formulated green crackers by permitting their use only for two hours in the evening and one hour in the morning for just two days. Now these crackers, developed by the government's own scientists, promise to reduce particulate matter emissions by about 30%. On paper, it seems like a win-win, but in reality, it's not. The plan to use green crackers is almost guaranteed to fail. Here are four reasons why. If it is green, I can use more. Think about diet soda or low-fat chips. Because we think they are healthier, we often feel it's okay to consume more of them. We end up consuming the same amount of calories or sometimes even more. The exact same thinking applies to green crackers. People will feel less guilty using them. A family that might have used just one box of old crackers might now feel it's fine to use two boxes of green ones. The 30% reduction in pollution is completely wiped out if the total number of crackers being burst goes up. In the end, the air can get just as dirty or even worse. The crackers are made 2,700 kilometers away. Here's a fact that dooms the whole plan. Approximately 70% that is 7 out of 10 registered manufacturers of all legal green crackers are made in and around Shivakasi, a town in Tamil Nadu. That's over 2,700 kilometers by road from Delhi. Worse, there is only one licensed manufacturer in Delhi, 51 in Uttar Pradesh and none in Haryana. Getting enough trucks of crackers all the way to Delhi in time for the massive Diwali demand is a logistical nightmare. There will simply not be enough real green crackers available for everyone who wants to buy them. This leads directly to the next problem. The market will be flooded with fakes. When the real product is hard to find, fakes take over. It is incredibly easy for a seller to take an old, illegal, highly polluting cracker, often containing banned chemicals like toxic barium nitrite, and slap a fake green sticker and a fake QR code on the box. As a buyer, you will have no way of knowing the difference. You will likely pay extra thinking you're doing the right thing for the environment. But in reality, you'll just be lighting the same old toxic cracker that has been choking Delhi for years. Finally, the rules are impossible to enforce. We've already seen that it's very difficult for the police to stop people from bursting illegal crackers. It happened just a few weeks ago during Dashara and Karvachot festivals when crackers were used despite a ban. Now, this isn't a new problem. A similar rule permitting only green crackers in 2018 was widely flouted, which prompted the National Green Tribunal to impose a complete ban just two years later in 2020. Now imagine this, if the police can't enforce a simple no crackers rule, how can they possibly check every single firecracker being sold on every street corner to see if it is a real green one or a fake? They can't. The rule is unenforceable. Therefore, the idea of a green cracker was a good try but it's a solution that only works on paper, not in the real world. It ignores how people think, the reality of where crackers are made, the certainty of a black market for fakes, and the difficulty of enforcing the rules. So remember, this Diwali, the hard truth is that the only truly clean cracker is the one that's never lit.